I just love being Sister Spook. According to our forensic files research, plant DNA was discovered to find out that this was already swatched. I just love being Sister Spook. So when James Charles was swatching his, his makeup, and people had saw that it was already previously swatched, he went over it without letting the people know. Aha! They caught her, girl. They caught her, Miss Thing. You know. You know the point that you're sitting at home, sitting at home, eating a little popcorn, girl. I'm like, as soon as they saw it, aha! They caught her in the, they caught her in the house, caught her in the house. Meanwhile, Manny and Mue is over there like, girl, I'm glad I'm not in that drama this month. You know what I'm saying? Loves match. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh, honey, getting severe up in here. Must be some drama in the atmosphere. Girls, we got so much to talk about. Oh, it's gonna get dirty up in here, girl. It's about to get real messy, Miss Thing. Real messy, girl. Let's get cute. Let's get cute so we can get messy, okay? Okay, well, it has been, what, 24 hours since James Charles? James Charles can do no wrong. Since James Charles released his Morphe palette. Now, if you watched my video, the first one I made, I, it was very positive review. It, I said I was gonna buy the palette, but I don't know, James Charles, from what I hear, girl, from what the girls are saying on the street, girl, James Charles doesn't do me, girl. They said, from what I heard, I've been hearing this for a while, they said James Charles did not like me one bit, honey. And I don't know why. I'm the sweetest queen on the internet, girl. I don't know what her tea is. Now, I must admit, I have made some videos where I called her out on a few things. But, but let us not forget, I have apologized, I think, in two or three videos where I had said if she was offended, girl, I'm sorry. Love her so much. But, I guess, till this day, she has never liked the tweet. Never spotted on, responded on my videos. I guess I don't hate her. I like her. From what I heard, she don't like me. That's fine, girl. And that's totally okay because ain't hey, nowhere in the world to say you have to like my fat ass. Yet I got so many messages yesterday of people in anger. Anger the house about this James Charles palette. It really started some drama. So first of all, can we talk about, can we talk, can we talk about Cole Carrington for a minute? Love her so much. Okay, I don't know her, but from what I have seen of her, she's very that girl and I love her. Like, I don't know her about, you ever like meet someone, you don't really know them, but you just like them already? I like her a lot, girl. She's my, she's, she's my cup of tea, okay? Well, she decided to throw a little shade at James Charles. And for those of you who don't know who the hell is a guy who does makeup videos. She did a video with Jeffree Star. Girl, she's up and coming on the world YouTube. Well, she tweeted out this to James Charles. She said, I've always followed, supported James, but he's literally never done the same for me or even acknowledged me. And I wonder why. Well, you know what, girl? I feel the same way. I've always supported James. And she never even knows my fat ass either, girl. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. But James Charles responded back. Yes, ma'am. Yes, of course. Of course she's gonna respond back. She has a palette to sell. She can't, she doesn't need any dirt right now, any, any drama. So she's putting out the fires the house. So here's what she said. I've liked your tweets many times, but I guess never hit follow. I haven't been paying attention to Twitter much, but until my announcement, loved your video with Sister Star. You're super talented. Girl, fake the house. My opinion, I think that was fake the house. What do you, I'll put a poll. Do you think James Charles was being fake? Or do you think what she said was a realty? How can you not follow her? You say she's super talented, you've seen the video, but you still don't follow her. That, you know what I'm saying? A little messy in the house, I don't know. And it, I get to situations like this where I'm sitting up here saying, I think that was a fake ass tweet. I think James Charles being fake. Maybe stuff like that. That maybe James Charles is like, I don't like Rich Lux. It's both fat bitch always trying to call me out the house. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? But I'm, this is why I can't have any friends, girl. Well, girl, it doesn't stop there. Because James Charles got even more hate the house, girl. So, James Charles' biggest enemy on YouTube, okay? James Charles' rival, okay? 
James Charles, number one, numero uno, primero impacto exclusivo drama. James Charles has this relationship with this guy. They don't really get along at all, bro. Okay. But here's what the guy said. His name is Kevin James. He said, you claim your love and investment in the industry and exhibit the talent and potential to do creative, innovative things. Yet you collaborate with a company famous for importing cheap private label eyeshadow and brushes from China. But I'm scum for pointing it out. Hashtag disappointed. That's in response to James Charles. Because James Charles had told the boy, you are absolute scum of the makeup industry. You know what? Yes, Morphe is a little bit on the affordable side for a lot of people, but you know what? A lot of people like that. You know, if you go, most of the time when you go to a, what do you call it? A Morphe store, it's like right across from a Mac or right across from a Sephora or whatever. The Morphe store is packed. So regardless what you think, regardless what you think about Morphe and it's this or that, it's packed, girl. They're selling eyeshadows and brushes like hotcakes, girl. And that's because a lot of people know the tea. You don't need an $80 brush to pull off a sickening look. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so that was James Charles' uh, hater chiming in, girl. They, they've been at it for years. They've been at it for months, year, who knows, girl, but they ain't, air, they ain't gonna throw a little fire on that. And this is what I don't understand. James Charles could easily call this guy and be like, let's do a video together, girl. You hate me so much? Come on, let's sit right here and do a video, girl. Confronting my biggest hater. Boom, million views. You know what I'm saying? Call my fat ass. I'll do a video with her real quick, the house. But see, what you know what I think it is? I think it is, I think somebody, I don't know who, girl, you know, but it's just a rumor. I think somebody is telling James Charles, oh, Rich Luck, da, da, da. girl, Rich Luck ain't nothing, Miss Thing. I ain't never talk about you. I don't even know you to talk about you, James Charles. I, every time I see stuff on the internet, it's you being shady to me. And that's fine, because to me, it's all, to me, it's just all fake, girl. You know what I'm saying? I think James Charles is fake, and that's totally okay, because you know what? I'm fake too, so we can all just be fake together, girl. But honestly, I don't know where her tea is. So, James Charles, if you have an issue with me, Let's talk it out because I have no issue with you. And if somebody is telling you that I have an issue with you, that's a mother effing lie. Because I make too much money and cash in too many checks to be sitting up here worried about James Charles not liking me the house. That's the truth all day long. So speaking of conspiracies, the Poindexters are at it again. Officially, they have gone too far. Okay. As far enough to call the scientific community and the forensic files community. Yes, ma'am. Because James Charles was doing some swatches on his little, the, coming out, you know what? He did his little video where he was showing you swatches, girl. Well, people were saying that the swatch was already there. And people were like, wait a minute, let me see here. So let's roll back the clip, girl. Here we go. I just love being sister spooked. Last but finally not least, after No Beans, we have the black shade in the palette called Spooky. I named this after my love for all things spooky, like horror movies and Halloween. I just love being sister spooked. I just love being... Sister spooked. Did you see it? I'm shocked. I'm shocked the hat. But, you know, James Charles can do no wrong. She's just like Kathleen Lyons. She can do no wrong, love him some man. James Charles has responded to Dustin Daly, who made a video calling him out on the swatches, right? So here is what James Charles said in defense. In defense for the swatch, girl. He said, there were a few shades to swatch twice. Some to layer, some because I don't do reviews, so I'm not great at swatching on camera. And some because I misspoke during a swatch and had to do a second take. There's no conspiracy. Okay, first of all, not trying to be shady, girl. But when he said, I don't do reviews, I, I thought that's what her channel was, like reviewing makeup and stuff. Or am I missing out? Or is she a pop star now? Is she a pop star? She don't do music no more. She don't do makeup no more. Like, I don't know what's going on. But when she said that, I, let me read it one more time. This, uh, for my sake, for my sake. So, J Dustin Daly called her out on these fake swatches. And other, I saw other videos too, calling out on these fake swatches. They were like, the swatches were already there. Why are you swatching it twice? Okay, let me get myself together, girl. I'm about to go off. So, here's what she said. 
There were a few shades to swatch twice. Some to layer, some because I don't do reviews, so I'm not great at swatching on camera. <laughs> and some because I misspoke during a swatch and had to do a second take. And there's no conspiracy. Damn! And some because this, and some, and and how about, and some because I want this to look good so I can sell it, girl. Just be honest, girl. You know what? I don't understand it. I Maybe she messed up during editing. I don't know the tea. Love her so much. And I'm pretty sure I'm a James Charles hater now, girl. No, man. If I was doing a swatch, girl, and I mess up, let me show you how I do it. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Here we go. We'll use a thirsty palette, right? Jeffree Star. No. No, that is, that is not. Love that palette so much. Let us use the elusive, exclusive alien palette, okay? <laughs> the one from Hot Topic, the little cheap $7 one. Okay, so if I'm trying to sell this palette, girl, we'll pick a little green up, up in here, girl, in this gig. And I'm like, oh yeah, love this image. And then I'm like, and I misspoke. I'm not gonna do this. See how, you see how I cover it up? Or kind of, and then I go like that. Look, you see that? See how I faked it? You see how I faked it? Hold on, let me do it again. Wait, I don't want to use that color. I'll use this color. Okay, so here's the first swatch. Okay, that's the one that's on camera but off camera. Y'all didn't see that swatch. So the swatch is there. But let's let's pretend you're, you're seeing it for the first time. See, see how you don't see it? Makeup seizure the house. I'm shocked. What he should have did is if he messed up, he should have just went like this. And a start over, girl. The house. Here, there's the real swatches right there. But I'm just saying, girl, I don't know. It just looks bad. It looks really messy. And I'm surprised more people haven't caught on to it. But somebody in my comments yesterday has officially had it. So this is Go Away I'm Reading. They posted... I'm beyond tired of these gurus taking credit for something they don't do. We know they don't create these palettes. They slap names on the shades and they choose by the way samples sent to them by the makeup company. And that's that. James Charles did not create the original 35B. This palette is based on the 35B. Okay, let's stop right there. Uh, conspiracies, I don't know, is that there was a palette that already existed, that is no longer existing, that it came back. I don't know the tea, don't quote me on it, but they're saying that this James Charles palette was an existing palette. Um, girl, I'm not that much of a point deck to get off in the gigs, girl, but hopefully in the comments, y'all already know the tea. Like, I'm sorry, but no. He created looks with the samples Morphe gave to him. That's the extent of his efforts here, period. Morphe chose him to superhead the new 35B because of his age, popularity with a certain age group, and his social media following. It's an honor to be chosen, but that's the extent of the credit he should be given for this palette. He is not the most talented MUA in the business or anything like that. I can name at least three other people in the with more ability than he off the top of my head. He talks too much, mouths off to people in the business older and more experienced than he is, Marlena Stale, and is always anxious for more credit, more accolades, more attention. He's more impressed with himself than he should be, and that's been the case since forever with him. The palette is beautiful, but that's not because of anything he has done. You see, that commenter went in. And there was a lot of comments similar to that in yesterday's video. And the it, it, it just got really messy, girl. I just left it alone. It's not that deep, but I can see for the consumer spending the money or somebody who really is looking at it from an outside point of view. I was like, wait a minute. That is kind of true. James Charles does sometimes mouth off. He sometimes doesn't. My, my opinion, he doesn't really give credit to other men in makeup. To me, I have not seen him do, and you know, I'm maybe offend some people, but I have to say it, on his YouTube channel, I have not seen him bring on a boy in makeup, a black boy in makeup, to sit there and kiki and put on makeup the house. 
because he claims he's just been so busy. I don't know. I would love to see a black boy makeup go on James Charles' video. I'm pretty sure many of you would love to see that as well. Because as I look at it, there's not many that I've seen black guys who do makeup on YouTube that are on and popping. Where are they at? I know they're alive. I know they're out there. But I don't understand why no one is like, hey, come on to my channel. Let's do video. I have no idea, girl. I don't know what it is. And then I start to look at the girls. Like the Jackie Ina and the other girls. I don't see them bringing the black kids on. The black boys and doing makeup. It's just... I'm not saying anything, I'm not trying to start the pop, I'm just saying, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and point fingers at James Charles when people within their own community, Jackie Aina, I love her so much, with her scandals in the house, where's she been, girl, making more Fashion Nova videos? Where, where's she at? She should invite some boys on to do some makeup the house, but I don't know what it is, I don't know if people are just, like, scared to, like, bring people on their channel and help them out and get views, or like, hey, check out this person, he's amazing. I'll do it all day long. I know that there is, like, you have to be careful because that person could be a snake. Or, you know what I'm saying? But talent is talent. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If I bring someone on the YouTube channel and they blow up to a million subscribers, that's because it was always meant for them to be. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not that, oh, I got them to the, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. All I did is give them a little push because I knew they were sticking in the, in the long run, girl. The moral of the story is if you have a dog or cat, get it neutered or spaded. You know what I'm talking about? Because you don't want them out there running around the streets or anything like that. And I don't hate James Charles, even though rumors are he hates me, love her so much. And I do understand that, you know, it's kind of hard to, and, and if you, it's kind of hard to sit up here and, and, and um, I, I just, I don't feel, in my opinion, I just don't feel I've ever really like went in hard, hard, went in hard on James Charles. And if I have, I have made videos where I apologize because you just don't know. You could say something like, you could say the smallest criticism to somebody and they could take it as something huge because you don't know what the other person's going through in their head. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always try to be careful and stuff like that. I try to, and if I offend them, I always apologize. But to me, it just never seems like it's good enough because I can't get, a, I can't even get a like to save my life. Can't even get a subscriber to save my life. Oh, we gotta talk about Jaclyn Hill. Yes, ma'am. Jaclyn Hill is at it again, girl. Okay, it it's ja I hope Jaclyn Hill watches this. At least this part. Uh, here it goes. So Jaclyn Hill, you know how like she's been getting a lot of like criticism every time she talks about Morphe. People get all upset, like, oh, you're talking about Morphe again. Oh my gosh. I get it. It's her job. That's how she makes her money. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm not nobody's hustle, girl. But she actually yeah, does talk about it a lot. But you know, that's how she makes her living, you know? So she, I guess she wants to talk about Morphe, but she doesn't want to get any criticism over it. So she tweeted out, is it okay or should I make a video talking about Morphe? Like like, you know, she tweeted something out. I'll put it up here. You can see it. But she put it out like, you know, can I talk about Morphe? And so many people said yes. Girl, you know what? I think Jaclyn Hill, and I've said this for a long time. I think Jaclyn Hill gets trolled consistently and doesn't even know she's getting trolled. I feel that the people who said yes, talk about Morphe are trolling her. I feel they are people who want her to talk about Morphe so they can get mad that she's talking about Morphe. I think they're like, yes, yes, talk about Morphe. Please, 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 yes, talk about it. So that way we can make videos that you talked about Morphe. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just my conspiracy, girl. I think that she has some trolls egging her on to do stuff and then she does it and they're like, aha! You know what I'm saying? Like, very that, girl. Poor Jacqueline Hill, love her so much, girl. I had, so oh my gosh, I had saw this really, really old, old, old video of Jacqueline Hill that she posted, I think, years ago on her YouTube channel. I love that video so much. I think I'm gonna try to, like, do a reaction video and, like, like talking through it because I was sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much to say. This is a different person. It's, it's a positive video. It's don't even start, girl. I know, I know how y'all are in the comments, girl. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have merchandise down below. So check it out if you want. See you in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.